the bookshelf of love. Which item will it be? Wait 30 seconds and you'll see. I'm taking over bookshelf of love this week and I am going to pick this. This is a little stone. Uh, who has a life all of its own. Uh, and this was made by Mike Rodriguez who is an awesome artist and also lead singer of The Weather Kings, which is an awesome band, you should check them out. Uh, and I got this at the Ventnor Healing Festival this year. Last year, technically. Uh, yeah, and I just thought it was really awesome. It almost looks like it is really alive. And it's carved in as well, not just painted on. So, it's robust. But that's my special little thing for you this week. If you like it, tell me something about it in the comments, or if you've got something similar, we want to see it too. So, thanks for that. What have you been doing this week? This week I went to London. I uh, wanted to uh, meet up with a friend of mine called Rob, and uh, I was also going on a secret business meeting, which hopefully in the future you'll find out lots more about. But here is what I got up to on my trip to London. Winchester, Basingstoke, Clapham Junction. An English woman decided to visit Germany by train. The German ticket inspector on the train punched her ticket and chatted cordially for a bit, making gestures like a windmill. As the Germans say. The young lady simply nodded from time to time that showed that she was very interested. When he was gone, an American soldier in the compartment for, uh, forward leaned forward and asked if the woman spoke any German. No, she said, confused. That explains it, said the guard. What's that, said the woman. Why you didn't batter an eyelid when the guy told you you were on the wrong train? Monorail enthusiasts have a one-track mind. Yeah, that's right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The next station is Winchester. <laughs> I'm suited and booted, and we're off to London. Well, not really suited, but I look reasonably smart. Uh, and then we're going to go meet Rob, because I've got a Christmas present for him. Then we're going to get back onto the island before the trains finish. So that's the mission. Uh, if I went an hour ago, it would have cost me £98. Um, now it's only cost me £52 <coughs> or thereabouts, plus a rail card. So uh, yeah, I'll keep you progressed and see how long we've gone. I've checked that clock many a times. And also, those placky boards that used to be there, they've disappeared. So it's been a while since I've been to Waterloo. This is the new improved Waterloo. And you've got digital clacky boards now. We're going on the underground, on the underground. Spent some of my olden days stood here with uh, expired tube tickets, or un unexpired tube tickets, uh, ready to give to general people. So you stand on the right, you run down the left. You don't stand on the left, you get hit, and they will hit you. <laughs> and this is the bit traditionally that I like to uh, jump. Whee! We're off to see Sherlock Holmes. So they're now projecting advertisements onto the side of trees. <laughs>
Swallow Passage. Welcome to the hustle and bustle of London, where thousands of people, millions of people, under loads of different nationalities, all gather to speak hundreds of languages and shop. And this is very much the peak centre of all of the mainstream shops. So you've got Next and Vodafone and Debenhams and John Lewis and there's McDonald's and KFC and O2 and EE -E and Starbucks and you name it is all in here. But yeah, this is the hustle and bustle of big city life. Everything's moving, everything's fast, you've got to keep your eye on everything, you've got to keep your hand on your back pocket. Oh, and there was a saxophonist, but I missed him. There's also lots of food outlets. For instance, this one has hot falafel. Oh, and samosas and hot dogs and chips and pieces, slides so. Not the type of thing a photo could replicate. So, very much like the Tali Cafe. It all wibbles in the wind. It's very beautiful. Taxi cabs are rarely black. Oh, there's a few of them, but the majority of them seem to have sponsorship all over them. There's a black cab and another one. I smell nuts. This man has roasted chestnuts on an open fire. Okay, so the good news is we found our destination. This is I'm told Selfridges. No. Avoid the chuggers. There's another one. He hasn't clocked me yet, we're okay. Made it. Here, yeah, fella, I'll give you a coin. Yeah, you wake up now. Thank you very much. This trick is playing on the DVD. Just spin the coin with two fingers. One, two, three. Whoa. Whoa, all the coin fly. Stop. Don't touch the demonstrator, never. Now you can move. And he follow you. Look at that. Around the wall. Absolutely fantastic, guys. It's time to say bye, Koi! Bye, Koi! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How cool is that? Keep the position, please don't move. One, two, three, twist it. Control and fly, guys! Wow. Oh, that was the amazing. Place is just... It's Rob! There he is! Oh, he's out of focus. Hang on. It's quite funny, I've been walking around London chatting to myself, describing stuff, and people looking at me all funny. <laughs> It's fine, I don't mind. I'm not from around here. Yeah, like, <laughs> and this is the underground. Oh, I love and this is the steps that you have to jump up. And if you don't jump, then you get hit. And if you stand to the left, you get hit. And if you, <laughs> you get hit. In fact, you're going to have to work hard not to get hit. <laughs> <laughs> what are they selling? What are they selling where? In there. Yeah. <laughs> it's modern art, mate. Is it? Nothing there. Well, I don't know what they're selling. It's just two blokes. Do you think they're gigolos? Maybe. <laughs> it's a gallery, it says. Gallery. Where's the gallery? Oh, Davis Street, Gasson Gallery. Les Montes de. It de just de. It's fresh. What? Oh, oh, look at that man, look, he's going to write his Christmas list to Santa tonight, look. <laughs> There's a big. Yeah, that's our actual Bugatti. It's a $1 million car. How much is it? As well. It's not one million dollars, it's 1.490 euro, which I'm imagining is probably... 1.2 million. 1.28 million in Europe, but it's still about a million quid. Oh, I'll let you see right into it. Look at that. I love the yellow inside, man. You get it. 
one of the fastest cars in the world. <laughs> so they sort of took me under the way. I just got <laughs> face with them. <laughs> That's the way to do it, isn't it? <laughs> is this Oxford Circus? No, this is Piccadilly Circus. What a the circus. <laughs> Believe it or not, it's a museum. Oh, it's Ripley's, oh, no, believe it or not. It is the Believe It or Not Museum. I do need to come up and do, like, museums and... There's only one museum worth going to, in, What's that? in my opinion. That's the uh, Natural History Museum. In my what about science? Is there a science museum? There is a science museum, but in my opinion, it's sort of... It's aimed towards more kids. Hey, right. Natural History Museum is a, a more visual, generally. The things you see in London, in the little ways. Oh yeah, there's not for sure. Something. Miserable. <laughs> <laughs> Can't really get anywhere, innit? Um, who's that? Who's that? It's Nelson. It's Nelson. Where's the pigeons? Uh, I think they sent someone out to shoot them all. You're not allowed to feed them anymore, I heard. No, not supposed to, no. So, boy. Next time I come over to London, you can get me a room in there, mate. <laughs> or the Strand. I'll be all right with the Strand, I think. Yeah. Simpsons, that looks quite classy. I wonder if Homer lives in there. Oh. Maybe he lives in there, I don't know. <laughs> what have you got? That green one. What? What green one? Turbo trainer. What are we talking about? See this thing, thing on the floor? No, the green thing on the table. Yeah, yeah that, that you strap Turbo. your bike in. Yeah, you put your bike in there and it runs on the roll, uh, flywheel on the back. And then you get a fan at your face. <laughs> yeah, you need a fan actually on the face. Oh no, it does, not it? Yeah, why don't they do that? What do you mean? We'll have that, but linked to a fan, so you power the fan on your face. That's a good shout. That's a genius idea. Why have you... Come on, cycling world, pull it together. <laughs> oh, that's... Where are we now? Are we near a bridge? We're on Waterloo Bridge. Woo! Exciting! Which is um, the bridge that the annoying devil put poo all over? Was it Thames uh, Bridge? Ah, that was London Bridge. London Bridge. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> oh look, there's your Oxo building over Oxo there. Oxo building and the new Shard as well. What's the Shard? Uh, it's the new tallest building in Europe, I think, actually. What? Definitely in, London, in the UK. What, that one there? one that goes up behind the oxo with the orange i suppose it really doesn't look that tall here because that crane's taller than it but i think it's yeah. perspective isn't it, it is perspective, <laughs> yeah. um oh it's the eye we've missed the eye so far so we can see the eye big ben the eye where's big ben there he's big ben oh. some pools some pools oh favorite bridge in london is look, you're getting all of the sights all of, like, literally all the sights. Right, we haven't got long, so this is going to be a quick one. Right, ready, steady, super pan. Does it still wobble wibble like no, they used to? What is that? The Millennium Bridge? Uh, is that what it's called? That is what it's called, yes. But that was also the reason why it started wobbling. Yeah, no. Because people walk in the same, the same pace as they walk across it. And it builds up a resonance. And, and the more the resonance, the more people walk on that pace. And then it basically it, you get end up in a feedback loop and it just perpetuates to the point where the whole bridge is doing. For, um, it's a... Uh, So I've had a lovely day with uh, Rob out in London and Victoria. Thank you very much for uh, lunch and so on and so forth. And uh, yeah, we saw some fantastic stuff. What did we do? Hamleys, which is fantastic. And then I met up with Rob and we walked around um, from basically Hamleys all the way through to Waterloo. Uh, and it was really good. So I've had a lovely day in the big smoke. Hope you've enjoyed my trip as well.